Hello friends, this is Miss Katie with Heritage Ways, and in our last video, I made a sun drop cake, but in today's video, I'm going to give you a short tutorial of how to grease and flour your bunt pan for that cake. Now, I have a recipe, a uh, video that I put out at the beginning of our YouTube journey about three years ago about greasing and flouring but here it is again now greasing and flouring usually I would use Crisco but I try to I'm trying to get away from Crisco and do something a little more uh, you know less dangerous to my health and so this is an organic all vegetable shortening to grease and flour a pan very quickly and, cl and easily I get one of these gloves from Gordon Food Service and I get the um, the, the grease, the shortening, and I just decorate it with using my glove and all the crevices. It's a little bit more challenging in a bunt pan. This is a bunt pan. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging than it would be just in a round cake pan. But I just really thoroughly cover the surface with the shortening. Getting in the cracks and crevices now. And, uh, you you don't you need a you need a shortening that's a solid solid shortening for this. All right, that's completely greased inside. Now, like I said, this is called a bunt pan, and as I mentioned in my cookbook, uh, I've got a little section for new cooks, and it, and it talks about the difference in a bunt pan and a tube pan. Now, the tube pan is not you know, fluted like this, not decorated like this. By the way, I love this. I borrowed it. Isn't that red pretty? I borrowed it from my sister because I don't currently have one in my tiny home. It's in storage. But a tube pan is not going to have the crevices and the fluting. And it's and the tube pan is probably going to have the removable uh, sides too. So that's the difference. I'm just getting some all-purpose flour. I don't know. Maybe that's Maybe a teaspoon or, I mean, a tablespoon. I'll do maybe two tablespoons. And I'm just kind of patting it around, kind of moving it around. It's a little bit trickier than doing a, um, like I said, a, a cake pan. Because I'm going to have to get this neck here, too. But I just kind of bang it. I don't want piles of excess flour, either. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of bang it around tap it around rather I should say and make sure I'm actually going to go the other direction too in this particular pan just to make sure it's covered and I'm not wasting the flour because I'm going to put the excess back in my flour container okay so it might make a little bit of a mess but most of it will get back in my flour container okay all right, so a greased and floured bunt pan.